Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense, and when last we left off, there was an alien base over here that is no more. Our squad at Ultimacterion flew over there in the Sky Ranger and took out the central control systems of the base, rendering it useless, and killing nearly all of the aliens within, with the exception of one. We have finished researching the Heavy Laser. The Heavy Laser is cumbersome, but extremely effective. It is quite powerful. It doesn't have an auto-shot ability. I'm not really going to be using it, but I do want to research the Laser Cannon. The reason being is the Laser Cannon is something that, while I don't want the actual Laser Cannon, I want something that researching it provides. There we go. I do also want to be able to uh, produce the uh, heavy laser. They're better for profit than the laser rifle. I don't want to actually uh, finish doing... Uh, let's see if I actually put a research project. I did. It's always good to check. Always double check once you've finished researching something if you have a new project. You don't want to waste the uh, valuable research time. I'm currently doing alien alloys so that I can then get some personal suits over here. The other thing I want to do is that I want to uh, change some of the equipment over on the interceptors. I want to get rid of all of these stingray launchers and the cannons. It is time to switch over to using avalanche missiles exclusively. Something I have never really done, but I'm going to try it and see how it is. They are really powerful missiles, but you don't get many of them, which is what I'm worried about. You only get three per um, weapon that you equip. I'm going to purchase here three more of these, and then I'm going to put about another 11 of these here, like that. There we go. Brilliant. Let us now wait for time to move forward. Nothing appears to be going on right now. However, we have finished uh, producing these alien alloys. So what we want to do is we want to uh, make some suits of uh, personal armor. Ten of them. So that we can later get the uh, soldiers that will be stationed here equipped ready for combat. We want to make sure that that place is very well defended. Nothing so far is going on, so let's actually look at the, uh, not the base, the graphs here. The graphs will let us uh, see how things are doing. Pretty much not a lot is going on. With the exception of Australasia, that is getting uh, quite a lot of activity. It's on the increase, so we need to at some point uh, see what we can do there. Let us just uh, let time advance. Aha! That is important. The fact that that has been built means that we can now start uh, getting facilities here. Like, for instance, some living quarters, a large uh, radar system, and a workshop. I originally didn't want to put a workshop here, but uh, it's a good idea actually to put one there, because you can get some engineers there who can just uh, manufacture things to sell and earn some money. That means that you'll be able to pay for the maintenance costs of this base and the soldiers stationed there, and you can also uh, get some profit going while you're at it. It's a good idea. We have all of this that's here now, so we'll equip this imminently. The sooner we get these ready for combat, the better off we'll be. You are rearming. You'll also be rearming. There we go. Marvellous. What we want to do is we want to transfer things over to Ultimac Algo. Starting with the, let's see, we want all of the laser rifles. We don't want to give them the blaster launcher. Here, have a thing that we don't know how it works. Oh, uh, thanks for that. Really appreciate that. We do want to give them all of these rockets as well. Because we're going to be transferring over the tank that we have, uh, that we have uh, asked to be delivered here over to Ultimac Algo. Note that if we put a tank here, it will not defend the base if the base is under attack. You actually need soldiers there to uh, defend a base. That's fine. We'll keep going here. Eventually things will happen. Like that being delivered, which we're immediately going to transfer over to Ultimac Algo. Let's just uh, transfer that over. Goodbye, rocket tank. We're not going to be using you anymore because we're going to get something better in a little bit. It's going to take a little while before we get it, but we are going to get it. We'll just wait a bit longer, and a little bit longer. The laser cannon has finished research. This conventional laser beam is powered by an antimatter reaction chamber. It is not conventional, trust me. This is an extraordinary piece of technology. But we do have laser defense that we could now uh, research. We're not going to, though. We're actually going to research the uh, Sectoid Navigator. 
not because of the technology that we will get from interrogating the navigator, but because we need to actually start the research that will uh, commence the plot, so to speak. So we shall start researching and begin the interrogation. The fact that we can build the laser cannon is good, they're really good for money. The tank laser cannon, however, that's really good, because we want to be able to uh, do that. We shall just wait a little more. Nothing appears to be going on over here. That's fine by me. General stores have finished uh, construction at Ultimac Tyrion. Marvellous. Anything else? No? Personal armour at Ultimac Tyrion. Good. We want to manufacture one tank laser. It's pretty good to have just one. We do lose uh, money by manufacturing these. If you were to sell them, it would be a terrible idea because we barely make any money. We just want one, and it only takes two days to do. Not bad. Let us transfer over the armour that we have uh, finished making. We want to transfer all of it over to Algo. Imminently. It's going to take a while before Algo is ready for soldiers, eight days before we can uh, start purchasing soldiers. Good idea to get that going now. The Sectoid Navigator has been interrogated. The Sectoid hierarchy ranges from soldiers to leaders with powerful psionic abilities. These psionic powers can be used to demoralize soldiers in combat, or even take control of their minds, which is something that we have experience with, both of those things. They tend to indulge in human abductions and cattle mutilation. The abduction is used to extract genetic material for crossbreeding, and developing clones for infiltrating human society. Oh dear. That's quite ominous. The cattle provides both nutrition and genetic material. This race appears to want to develop superior genetic hybrids to increase the efficiency of their hive-like society. If XCOM interceptors are being particularly successful in shooting down UFOs, then the aliens may take some retaliatory action. This could result in a direct attack against an XCOM base. However, the aliens have to find an XCOM base in order to attack it, and provided the UFOs are kept away, then there should be little danger of an assault. We'll keep that in mind. We can research the Hyperwave Decoder if we wanted to. That is an end-game facility. There are a few reasons why I'm not going to do this, however. Firstly, it will take a very long time with the amount of scientists that I have. Secondly, they are exceptionally expensive. Thirdly, they are very, very costly to maintain. And fourth, I want to research alien origins and at least get heavy uh, plasma weapons researched first. There we go, everyone on this. Marvellous. We don't get anything that we can manufacture from uh, figuring out the uh, stuff the Navigator knows, apart from, of course, the uh, Hyperwave Decoder, once we've researched it. Marvellous. That is done. Still nothing going on. I'm a little concerned about that. Not so concerned about the fact that the uh, tank laser is done. That is brilliant. We could start manufacturing the laser cannons. That is a really good idea, because we will get, let's just say, a little bit of money, about uh, 2.8 million profit, which is really nice. Let's just leave that going for about forever, shall we? Slowly but surely, the days go by. Nothing seems to be happening. Living quarters, however, at Ultimac Tyrion, a good thing. Gotta wait for the one at Ultimac Algo first. We could just uh, put it here so that we could see both of them. That is quite important, though. That being built is very important. We are going to transfer over one of these interceptors. There we go. 1,685. Done. We can now dismantle this hangar. This saves us a little bit of maintenance, and also means that there is less, uh, there are less places that aliens could attack the base. This is going to be uh, a pretty operational base in about 10 days. 10 days, however, is a long time in XCOM. Does this base actually have the uh, equipment to... Yep, they have the equipment to... Uh... Do they have the equipment to do that? I'm not sure they do. Did I actually um, send over any of the avalanche missiles? I don't think I did. Probably a good idea to uh, purchase a couple, just so that we can actually arm that uh, interceptor when we get it. Imagine doing that. Send it out! It actually has no missiles, sir! Oh, we appear to have messed up. Oh, that you have. There we go, we can intercept. That is ready to go, which is brilliant. 
Also, I've just noticed, uh, if we go to base here, that uh, there are only nine people equipped to the Sky Ranger. Probably because Sadwick got very minorly wounded. Much better. We want to imminently get some uh, people here recruited. Ten of them. Now, once they've arrived, that base will be counted as defended. It's very important that there is a uh, defense uh, contingent there. We don't want to lose that base. We've used a lot of money to get it built. We have figured out something about the alien origins. It is clear that we are fighting a losing battle on Earth. What a good start to this optimistic debriefing. The alien hordes are overwhelming in number. The best we can do is slow down their progress. The only hope for humanity is to tackle the aliens at their source. Our research seems to indicate a nearby base of operations within our solar system. Well, that's good because we're really good at navigating our solar system with soldiers. We're really not good at that. Aliens indicate this place to be the center of an ancient civilization that predates human history. We must locate this place as soon as possible. However, we need to capture and interrogate an alien leader to gain more detailed information. The larger UFOs probably contain at least one alien leader. The bases also contain an alien leader. Unfortunately, we had to kill the leader in the base that we went to uh, attack. We want heavy plasma researched because uh, we desperately need to uh, get some better equipment. Nothing is going on here right now apart from all of these soldiers arriving. We want to first equip all of them with personal armor because you don't want to forget to do that, that's for sure. There we go. Not bad, we are nearly fully equipped with the personal armor. They will automatically pick up the uh, laser rifles when uh, this base is attacked. Ideally, these soldiers won't be going out from this base. They may be transferred at some point from uh, this base to Ultimac Tyrion to get some experience. Let's start naming some soldiers, starting with Sesame Seeds here. And then we shall have, let's see, Alex uh, Denton. There you go, Alex Dentum. And then we shall have number nine. Welcome to XCOM number nine. Then we shall have uh, Battlin. Marvelous. And we shall have White Tower Wraith here. You have a bit of a uh, history with the uh, XCOM uh, organization White Tower Wraith. Hopefully you will do well this time. We shall have, uh, let's see, who else shall we have? We'll have Millie here. There we go. And we shall have Blount. And how many more do we have to name? We have three more to name. Fair enough. It's always difficult to uh, select one name in particular. We shall have Draco. We shall have, let's see, who else shall we have? We shall have uh, Luther. Why not? And finally, one more person. Just one more. We shall have... Hmm. It's always the last one that's the most tricky, isn't it? Always the last one. We shall have... We shall have... We'll have Dawn. There we go. Two people from Lands of Law 2, but technically that could also be Lands of Law 3. Marvellous. We are ready to go. At least with defending this uh, base. With things actually uh, going on over there... When it comes to intercepting uh, UFOs, not quite yet. We're just sort of waiting for things to happen at the moment. Things are not really happening, are they? Not at all. Not even slightly, actually. Let's have a look at the graph and see what's going on. Australasia has a lot of stuff going on. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm very concerned, actually. I actually want to send over the uh, the Sky Ranger. I want to see what's going on. The Sky Ranger has the most fuel. It's the most likely um, to stay and detect something. So we're going to... Uh, let's actually cancel there. I want to double check that the tank is uh, equipped to uh, this. Just in case something happens. It is not. Good thing I did that. Very good thing I did that. Let us uh, intercept with the Sky Ranger and see what is going on. Go over here and see what you can find. Anything? Oh! I am very fortunate. Very fortunate indeed. Intercept. Let's actually change your course right now. If you're lucky, you might be able to outrun the dark. 
you cannot outrun the dark. We are going to be doing a night terror mission, but unfortunately, this is far too far away for our interceptors to be able to delay the mission. It's in the middle of uh, the... It's over here, which means that this interceptor wouldn't be able to make it. This interceptor wouldn't be able to make it. We're going to have to do a night terror mission. But it's a good thing I did that. I mean, I could have sent the Sky Ranger over immediately and it would have made it. But here we are. One terror mission. The third terror mission. Let us see how well we do. I hope we do well. Let's see if anybody can be equipped with more stuff. You can't at the moment. You can't either. Just seeing if anybody has any more carry capacity, enough that they could uh, take something when they couldn't before. Can you take one of these now? The answer is no. Still a bit too heavy. I'm very worried about this mission. Very worried because it's at night. Very worried, but we're as ready as we'll ever be. It is dark. Fortunately, the tank laser cannon doesn't have to worry about ammunition. So let's go and uh, see what we can do. Are we in a corner? We are at least partially in a corner. We are on the edge. Is this? No, we're sort of in the middle. Okay. Time to go out, tanky too. See what you can see. The answer is, you can't see very much. Ah, sectoids. That's fine. Can you shoot? That is a good question. A snapshot, 30% accuracy. Give it a go. Marvelous. A fine first hit there for the uh, tank. We don't really want to do that much else right now. We might want to throw a smoke grenade. It might be a good idea. But I think at the moment we just want to wait very patiently and see what happens. We probably want to explore down here and up here simultaneously. There are just too many locations that we want to go and explore. The tank, however, will be pretty good at uh, finding various aliens. I'd have much preferred this to be a daytime terror mission. Imagine if I'd have sent out the Sky Ranger a couple of hours earlier. Might have actually managed that. Do I want to send anyone else out? Not especially considering the fact that uh, the aliens on the first turn have a lot of uh, time units. They have a hundred, I believe. But I do want to get at least somebody out. There we go. Get you out. And uh, can we throw this? Probably a good idea to just throw it over here to get some light. Good thing we did too, because there is a cyber disc. I don't want the cyber disc to uh, take out some of my soldiers. We could move you over here. It's not really going to work that well because you're only going to get so far. That might save you. It might save you. Just maybe if we get you into the Sky Ranger as quickly as possible. Okay, you can. St Ooh! Well, that's bad. There's an alien over there as well. Do you have a shot? You don't have a shot. We're going to have to take you out, aren't we? We're definitely going to have to take you out. We can see you. We know you're there. You don't have a line of fire right now. Do you have a line of fire now? I hope so. You do! That was not good. That was pretty terrible. So what we're going to have to do is move somebody else out now. Like you. Over here, which endangers you because the cyber disc is right there. We'll have you crouch, just to make this a little bit more likely that you'll succeed. That is a fence. That was all pretty terrible. One snapshot. That was the snapshot that we needed. That was really the snapshot that we needed. Now I can only hope that uh, things do not go terribly wrong for us. This is not the best situation for a terror mission, that's for sure. But at least it's not Snake Man. Oh my, if this was a Snake Man terror mission. It would be pretty terrible. And so, when we come back, folks, more of this terror mission. I had a feeling something would happen in Australasia purely because of the increase in uh, alien activity over here. Didn't know it would be a terror mission, though. I thought it was an alien base or just some missions going on. Maybe we want a base over here at some point. Maybe. And when we come back, folks, the continuation of this terror mission, or should I say the start of the terror mission? We've barely begun, and already things are going a bit awry. That said, we have defeated uh, two aliens already. Not bad, eh? And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.
Oh my, if only I had, uh, thrown this earlier. Then I might have shot this instead. But, can't undo what I've already done. Later.